What's up? Tucson knife. Tucson. Let's, uh, brand new, in a box. Let's get it out of here. Get it taken apart, cleaned up, checked out, checked in, and see what's going on. What do we got in here? Okay. So, I know what's up here. This is a Tucson 142 in M390. So, I've been watching this one on eBay for a while. I'd been away for a while and kind of came back and was looking. And this was one of the knives that I said, man, I got to get me one of those. But price prohibitive because, man, these things, like, I, I passed on a couple around, I think around $170. I passed on a couple and they sold right around there. And then all of a sudden, these went like $200, $220. I mean, the price just went nuts, and I thought, I don't think I'm going to get one. Like, this is going to be one of those that um, it's going to fall out of my rotation, and I'll keep a watchful eye out for it, you know, which means I'll look for it once in a while. Because um, I kind of, I follow Tucson on eBay, and, and then I don't follow it. I, I belong to a few pages on Facebook where dudes are posting up or whatever and but I don't I don't check that all the time either but when I do then I I kind of get after it well I thought man I may not get this one because uh I ain't paying that that's not happening um so anyways let's let's get a look at it because I finally did get one in a price range and towards the end I'll I'll tell you what I paid for it um, yeah, I mean, I'm not disappointed in the price I got. Let's get it out of here and see what's up. Oh, so that blade shape, that handle, I mean, that's what did it for me. Just the look of that knife. I said, man, I gotta, I gotta get one of those because this looked like something that I wanted to put in my pocket. Um, the detent on that is kind of weak. Let's try the thumb. Yeah, much better in the thumb. And so that Spidey Flick could just be me. Um, the action's pretty good. I can already tell, though, when I clean this up, it's going to run better. Ooh, it's an integral. Look at that. Just one big chunk of titanium with carbon fiber inserts and micarta inserts. Um, yuck. I'm not too sure about this. We'll, we'll check on that pocket clip. My Cardis got some good texture. Huh. Let me let me get it cleaned up. Spend a lot of time talking and looking at it when I need to be cleaning. And then we'll get it apart. But, yeah. So, I, I chased this one for a long time, man. A couple of months, I think, I've been looking for this one. And uh, trying to get it bought. I looked at a couple of alternative ways. I checked out White Mountain. Um, because I, I just... Man, I, this was one... Being an Integral M390, I, I just wanted it. And I love the way that it looks. Um, there's something about this knife that I said, man, I got I to gotta get one of those in my collection because I, that, I want that in my pocket. This isn't, I don't want to just add to my Tucson collection with this one. I want to carry that knife. And now that I have it, I mean, just the feel in my hand right there, 100% this knife's going in my pocket. 100%. Um, I don't know. Is it like, is it like a, a mini buoy knife or what am I looking at there? Maybe. Um, it's got the little China collars. I bring that up all the time now cause I see guys crying about it, man. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've actually seen where some guys are like sanding that down cause they don't want it to say that. Uh, it just seems like an oddity to me cause it doesn't change the fact that it's made in China by Chinese people. TS-142 and M390, Mazwan Mokhtar. And, and, you know, there's another thing. Mazwan is well-respected in the knife community as a designer. And he's, he's designing knives for a Chinese 
Knife Company. Oh, we should boycott them. I, to me, it's just goofy. But I get it. We Man, it's easy to get off on things like that and get caught up in them. Thick blade stock, tough blade, kind of a small knife. I mean, I, I'm not going to say it's small. I can get a full grip on it. Um, definitely if I go up into that choil, pretty nice. Man. Whew. I know I'm spending a little extra time looking this thing over. But this was one. This wasn't just let's get it in the collection. This was 100%. I want to put this in my pocket. Let's get it apart, cleaned up, and uh, and then we'll wrap up. How about that? Before I go on too many more rants. Okay, so that, that wasn't very tight at all. Um, I'm going to say that's going to that's gonna get some Loctite. It doesn't have any. And the cameras. There we go. Doesn't have any. And that screw was super loose. So, hmm. All right, calm down. I think that's the only screw that's coming out of there. Yeah. Okay. Forgot I was dealing with an integral here. Get that collar out. It's a good size collar. And sometimes on these integrals, they they have kind of a specific spot that they'll come out and go in, and that seemed like that was the spot. Yeah. Get all this oil out of here. Oop, hold up. And what am I missing? Missing one of those right there. Where's that? Okay, I see it's down in there. Gotcha. That's everything. Now, begs a question, should I pull these micarta scales? But Clearly, there's no relief on the inside. There's no relief in there to that scale. So if it got oil under it, it's on the outside. It's not on the inside. But uh, it's a T8, so what the heck. Let's just look. Let's see if it's messy under there. If it is, we'll rectify it. We'll clean it up. I say that, but now if I got to pry that out, I'm not doing it. And that's what it would take. So that's just going to go back in there. And I'm going to hope that there's not oil underneath that. That's going to weep out and bother me. Probably the same with this carbon fiber. Pretty sure that'll come out of there. Yeah, that one's loose. And look, look at all that oil under there. So that's why I say, I mean, that stuff needs to come out because this oil right here is going to weep out from those seams. And I mean, I don't, I don't want oil weeping out of my knife, into my hand, into my pocket, whatever. So I am, I'm going to take one more run at this micarta and see if I can't get it loose. And check for any oil underneath it. Yep, there it is. So it is just milled really, really well and tight. Yeah, and it's soaking wet under there. So I'm going to go back to that other one. I'm going to get it off so I can get this thing wiped down properly probably should make sure and take care of that screw and that one and this one they're all three pretty tiny or th though now this doesn't really have a leverage spot so i'm gonna have to try to on both of these try to get under them somehow so man i hope it doesn't the video doesn't get too long with me trying to mess around and 
pop this out of there. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to. The tolerances on this is so tight. And I don't want to go picking that apart. If I can't, if I can't get under it right there where the screw meets it, I'm not going to be able to get that out. Yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately, I, we're going to go back to where I was the first time on this side. Is uh, if, if a bunch of oil weeps out of this side and causes me anxiety, I will figure it out. I'll get it out of there. But for this video, for right now, to check this knife in... I'm gonna let I'm gonna give this side a pass um, and I'll clean the other side. I do I do really like this micarta and uh, all right, let's get it cleaned up. Just oh, wet, oily man. and a hundred percent I'm gonna be able to make this action better. no question. Just by cleaning it up. All right, let's let's dig down in there. I kind of lost focus and backed away from the camera there. Whew! That's got quite a bit of pressure on it, but. If you remember when I first opened it, it did not, it didn't, uh, there, it wasn't a difficult detent. So most certainly I'm not going to lighten that. I'm going to leave it be. And, uh, I think that if I get it cleaned up and oiled properly, it'll run better and the detent's going to be fine on it. I mean, there's some dirt in here. Definitely some grit down in where these bearings are riding. And, uh, you know, is it is it not a good cleanup process on one end? Um, or is it that these components, as they break in, uh, create debris and, uh, you know, or is it maybe a little of both? Maybe it's a little of both. But definitely dirty as I'm wiping all this in the same spot. You know, this towel's revealing the dirt that's in all this. I'm almost there. And then we can figure out how to put put this little thing back together. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could have got that other side off because, I mean, what's the chances of this side being all oilied up and the other side not? You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Anybody remember that? Know what I mean, Vern? That dude? That was a long time ago. All right. That's all that. I think we'll start by... Let's put this back together here get this external stuff back together and uh, I will say by and large as a whole I'm always really impressed with Tucson's fit with these inserts and components they're always milled really nice to super tight tolerances and so much so on this side that I can't even get it out. It's not glued in there. It's just perfectly milled to fit in that cutout. And this side, I'm able to get under it is the only reason that I got it out. I'm sure of it. Um, but you could feel the tight tolerances. Same on this. I mean, there's no gaps around these edges. I mean, it's got a little shadow box, I guess, around there. But, I mean... Wow. So, so well done. All right. So this is a dance now. 
a dance of trying to get all of these pieces and parts in place. And put it together. And uh, it may impact the length of this video. I think uh, one of the things that I'm seeing now is that this window is designed to help facilitate putting it together. Um, I probably I need to put a little drop of oil in there, and that will help hold that in that spot right there. Let's go back with it. Okay. And then I'm gonna oil, I'm actually gonna oil this. And see if I can't. starting to feel like a game at an arcade now got to drop it in there just right to win win the prize maybe if I go this way and push it in there come on now you're right there you go magnet okay both those washers are in so let's see if I can't stand it up here and put these bearings in Put a drop of oil on them. Should help them stay in place. And once I once I cross the threshold with them bearings, I should be good to go because the sides of the knife will hold all that in place. So now that I'm at that spot, I don't really have any concerns about anything popping out of there or, you know, like all that's going to stay in there. It's not lined up properly, but it ain't going nowhere. So now I can put this on, put this in, and get the other side, and I'll hold the other side. So now I can work on this pin, because this pin is what's going to bring it all together. And of course, when you're dealing with a sharp blade, you got that issue. Um, I think I'm going to unlock this detent and get under it with the blade. There we go. I felt it. Ooh, perfect. All right. So this should, if I can send this home, should be living the dream like so huh, that wasn't so hard bam basically the knife's back together we'll put that there I do think that I'm not going to mess around ooh what's that piece of metal out of nowhere So I'm going to Loctite this just the way that that was. Um, I already know that I want a little more stability in this screw. Maybe not a lot, but definitely enough to where I'm going to have it bite. There we go. Yeah, so I know the video is taking a little while, but what would you expect? It's integral, man. Come on, man. 
Come on, man. All right, so we got this pocket clip, and I think we can wrap up. So, not a big fan of single screw pocket clips recessed into carbon fiber and micarta. Um, and on this one, this one I plan to put in my pocket. So, it's going to get more than the normal trailer wear. This one's going to get... This one's going to see action. So, I played with that screw a little bit. Let's see what we got. I mean... It's running pretty good. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. Clear this space so we can focus on the task at hand. And that's going to be just tuning that detent a little bit. But I want to wipe the outside down real quick. Get any remaining oil off of there in my fingers. Okay. I mean, it's kind of drop shutty at this point. A couple of little tiny shakes. It's flicking well. Let's check it for play. I'm not sure that I'm going to change anything because I did snug that up pretty good. As long as there's no play in it, I think I'm going to leave it be. Yeah. I'm going to say that that's in good shape right there. It's cleaned up. It's tuned up. Action's running good. I, I'm satisfied with that action. Not, not just satisfied because it's great action. It's not... I mean, I don't want to give an impression that that's like mediocre action, because it's not. It's an integral. It's got a wonderful feel. Um, and I'm, I'm positive that as I run this in my pocket a little bit, that's just going to get even smoother. And so let's see if it cuts. I mean, it's pretty sharp. But I detect a burr. So I'm going to knock that burr off real quick. I'm sure the video is getting super long at this point. I haven't even looked, but let's just get this burr off and we'll, we'll finish it. Make, it. make it a complete video. I need to check it for... Uh, blade contact, the tip and the blade, make sure that the knife safe, and I'm going to check that, that pocket, and then let's cover price real quick, and, uh, and then we'll wrap this one up, okay, let's see if I improved it at all, I mean, whoop, ridiculously sharp at this point i mean could it be sharper yeah but i'm not going to mess with that factory edge until i have to i'll leave that just the way it is um until i have to so yeah it's cutting really well that action is i mean i'm gonna call it drop shut at this point because if i just coax it it's gonna go so can i can i get it yeah man i mean i can get that tip um yeah, I, I'm contacting that tip 100%. I'm getting it. And I'm safe on the back. So the back obviously is a pass. The front, this tip, there's contact there. If you stick your finger in, if, if you reached in there, you're caught. And if you went against that, you're cut. Um, yeah. Bummer. Uh, my Carta. Super grippy. It's got a great texture. The carbon fiber, car, carbon fiber is really nice. Like, their, their carbon fiber is great. Um, T2 
PS142 and M390. Let's run that pocket clip and then I'll give you some pricing. All right, one hand in the pocket, thick jeans. Um, yeah, that's not a one-handed pocket clip. Two hands, it'll go in and it's a tug with one hand to get that out. It rides pretty good in the pocket, but yeah, I mean, you already know looking at that, how good is that going to run in your pocket? I mean, it's short. There's there's very little tension there or springiness. And so I'm going to say that's a two-hand operation with thicker jeans. You're not going to get that in your pocket with one hand. Um, so, yeah, that's not a great feature. Um, price. So what did I pay for this? Like I said, I was watching this thing way over $200 for a long time, and I got this right at around $190. So I, I passed on it when it was $175, $180. And like I say, then they, they went crazy well over $200, but I was able to snag one like at $190. So, yeah. Wonderful knife. I, I most definitely, even with this tip and the, the two-handed pocket clip, this is going in my pocket. I'm going to carry it. I just, I love the blade shape, the overall look of the knife. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, anyways, thanks for watching, hanging out all that time and, and uh, watching me struggle through it. But I uh, appreciate you.